Hey, listen up. This is my from Brooks Office. We played, we played a little ball. <clears throat> and we, since we had Coach Powell, I'll talk about having bringing him up here to give y'all a little talk also. Y'all give right. it up for Brooks Office. All right, how's right, everybody doing? We want to play basketball, right? Yes, sir. We got 13 and 17. Every time I come up here, I just think about myself because at one time, this was me. At one time, believe it or not, years ago. Now I work up here a little bit. So I see some of you guys up here from time to time. And I might not know names or whatever, but I probably know some of you guys' parents, mother, father, uncle, aunt, cousins, or what have you. So other than basketball, there's other things going on, right? I think there's a lot of things going on. Probably a lot of things you guys probably don't need to be involved in, right? And you done had to talk to before, but that's the, that's the reality of it. That's the reality of it. Yes, you can come up here, you can have a good time, you can enjoy yourself, you can take it seriously, you can kid around, all those good things. But whether you take it seriously or not, life still goes on. Now, peer pressure. What about peer pressure? You always got somebody at school or on your block, in your neighborhood, call it what you want, that's going to try to have you do things that you probably ain't got no business doing, right? You know what I'm talking about. You know, marijuana, pills, things of that nature, drinking, you know. It's really, don't matter what age you get, it's all bad for you. And I can say that because I'm speaking from experience. It's bad for you. I'll tell you a little bit about myself, okay? I'm 58 years old, born and raised around here come from a large family. When I say large, I mean large. I'm the youngest of 11 kids. That's right, my mother had 11 kids. I played at Morton Junior High, played at Freedom High, played at United States Marine Corps, played at Junior College at North Greenwood Junior College, played at Western Carolina for two years, Western Carolina University. It was all good. Played overseas, halfway around the world playing basketball. Why? Because I love it. Not only for the game, but the game done a lot for me. The game kept me away from all, a lot of those bad things, you know, that I just talked about. Now, whether you guys have experienced it or not, it's, going, it's out there. Most of you guys probably done seen it anyway. If you ain't already done tried. And I'll say it again, that's the reality of it. And as you get older, that's when, you know, you start to make decisions on your own just like I did, or just like these guys did, the coaches. And life don't stop there, guys. It, co it goes on, it goes on. So I guess what I'm trying to say is it comes down to about choices. If you choose to try to do the right thing, or you choose to do the wrong thing. You can run with the wrong crowd or the right crowd. The choice is up to you. It's up to you right now, right? You at school? You can sneak around and do your little dirt and all that mess and think you're getting away with something, but really, in reality, you're not getting away with anything, guys. I'm telling you, been there, done it. Been there and done it. But this game right here, throw me that basketball. Man. This game right here can do a lot for you, whether you excel in it or not. For me, it kept me on the straight and the narrow. Did I love this game? They yeah, love the game, still love it. Love to come in the gym, just the smell of the gym excites me. Because I've done it. This go right here, this used to be the, 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 the court right here for the older guys. The younger guys, like you guys, used to play down here. And to one day I got the call. You know what the call is? <laughs> hey, young boy, young Hawk. That's my nickname, Hawk. Bruce Hawk. My nickname is Hawk. Hawk, come on down here. I went down there, and uh, during them days, they call it what you take your beat. You know what your beat is? When you get knocked down and nobody helps you up, you land down there complaining, crying, and moaning and all that. That's when you're taking your beat. So it, my, my point is it's a learning process. Were the guys trying to intentionally hurt me? No. That was their way of trying to teach me. Ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. You come down here and play, you're gonna earn it. That's what the game is all about. You gotta earn it. Just like the game of life, you got to earn it. When I look around, I see young faces. Where I work at, I see a lot more young faces. I work up at Broughton Hospital. And when you guys hear that name, you probably think about, well, crazy guys, crazy girls. Well, it ain't crazy no more. When you say crazy, you think of psych, psychological. 
mental problems. But it's done switched over from behavior now. It's gone from sight to behavior. You know what behavior is when you're bad. When I said it earlier, you're doing things you ain't got no business doing. That's what a lot of them guys over there are at now. The jails are full. The prisons are full. So they send them to the Broughton Hospital for what they call treatment. Now, whatever treatment is, I don't know. That's a, a wide range of things. And I don't want to get off the subject, though, guys, because it's still about youth. Youth mean you guys. Because right now, you're young, but you're not going to be young forever. You're not going to be young forever. So why are you young now? And you're out here, you're bouncing this ball, you're passing the ball, you're shooting the ball, and you can run, and you can do all those things like I thought I was going to do forever. Can I still shoot the ball? I can still shoot the ball. Yeah, I can still shoot it. And to be honest with you, I probably can still shoot all of your guys, most of you guys anyway. I can say that. But as far as running up down the court, you got me there. <laughs> you got me there. All the falls, the running in the bleachers, and taking charges, and diving for loose balls. After a while, it takes its toll on you. When you played as much basketball as I have. But what I'm trying to say, guys, enjoy the game while you can. Because, you know, you're not going to be at this age forever, okay? When I say this age, I'm talking about being young because you're growing older every day. What, what grade are you guys in? What, from 13, what is that, 13 to 17? What is that? 7 through the left. Oh, damn mercy. I come out of high school in 1977. That's a long time ago. Long time ago. But I can honestly say I enjoyed it every minute of it. I wish it could have lasted longer. But one thing about it, when it was over, it was over. Moved on. Played point guard over there. What's the coach over there name? Casey. Played for his father, Terry. I was the point guard. Back then it wasn't ninth grade high school, it was 10th grade. I was on varsity, 5'7", 127 pounds playing point guard, believe it or not. 5'7", 127 pounds, and that's soaking wet. <laughs> but I enjoyed every minute of it. Now, did I do things that I wasn't supposed to do at times? Yeah, I did, because I was a kid, just like you guys are. But I'm just saying, when, you, when it gets down to making them choices, guys, if you do make a slip up, try not to keep making the same slip ups, okay? Teen pregnancy, that's a big issue now, ain't it? Can I say it again? Teen pregnancy. Now you tell me, what business do you guys have trying to go out here and sleep with some young girl with no protection and end up having a baby and you're pretty much a baby yourself? Mm. Well, no. Think about that. I mean, what, what do you really have to gain by doing that now? Going around telling your friend, yeah, I got a little kid now, I got a little shorty. <laughs> All of that. But guess what, that little shorty got to eat. That little shorty got to have clothes, medical expenses. Who's going to pay for that? Your mother, your father, your grandparents, your aunt and uncle? See, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You know, sometimes you got to use this thing God gave us, call it a brand. 